victim here, I mean, would have had no idea that anything like this would have happened to her. Along the side of the road, an Adams County woman who was having car trouble is brutally attacked. Tonight, the sheriff talks about what happened to her and the investigation into the people he says did it. The victim was 70 years old. She could have been your wife, your mother, or your grandmother. And investigators say she was carjacked, robbed, and sexually assaulted by two people with known run-ins with the law last night. And the sheriff says the two should have never been free. WGEM's Charity Bell has been following the story all day and is looking further into, it, further into this. She is live at the Adams County Jail with details. Charity. McKenzie County authorities are trying to get the suspects back here to the Adams County Jail. The two were arrested in Springfield, Illinois. Authorities say the process of getting them back here to face their charges here is all based upon how the investigation moves along there. It was already dark when the woman had to pull her car over to check her headlight. Still, it was only six at night on a Tuesday. Deputies responded to the area of North Bottom Road, which is north of Quincy on the Bottom Road, um, and where we discovered there was a elderly female victim. She was 70 years old. Adams County Sheriff Rich Wagner says 34-year-old Bradley Yone and 32-year-old Karen Blackledge have pulled up behind her and stole her vehicle. Through the investigation, uh, we learned that she had been robbed at her home. She had had her vehicle hijacked earlier in the evening and brought back to her home. But that wasn't all. Wagner says the elderly was sexually assaulted before they took off. Wagner says Yon and Blackledge showed up in Hannibal. The vehicle fled from that officer. Uh, the vehicle then fled uh, back into Illinois, where a Illinois State Police trooper came across the vehicle. The vehicle fled from that trooper, and eventually um, the vehicle disappeared. And then ended up in Springfield, where Wagner says federal marshals helped track them down by checking their residency history. The two have a criminal past, according to court records. For example, Young was sentenced in 2020 to three years for aggravated battery out of Singamon County. And Blackledge faces charges for forging credit cards out of Adams County. All reasons Wagner says he thinks the two should have never been out on the streets. If they're going to commit these types of crimes, they shouldn't be out on the street. They, they should be in jail probably where, the, where they belong. Uh, nobody deserves to be victimized by anybody. It's not clear when they'll be brought back to Adams County, but Wagner hopes it'll be as soon as possible. He says right now they have four investigators in Springfield helping with the investigation there. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGM News. Okay, thank you so much, Charity. And Wagner says they are still looking for two stolen vehicles. He says they're looking for a blue-green 1996 Chevy pickup truck with a toolbox in the back that was stolen in Quincy. And they are also looking for the victim's vehicle, which is a white 2018 Toyota Avalon. He says to contact the Sheriff's County, the Adams County Sheriff's Office at 217-277-2200 if you have any information on these vehicles or where they might be located.